this is a shot of the underside of the lid of my furnace you can see it's flat right to there and then it it dips in it was uh, made that way because I didn't have enough refractory to fill it up it's got some wires in it welding rods welded in that lid that keeps the holes of refractory in there cracks have been there since day one you can see where slag and the iron and everything's running down I set my crucible up so that the lid will just swing over it which gives me whenever I close the lid about an inch, inch and a half of clearance over the top of that crucible it uh, concentrates the heat coming out of the furnace right in the mouth of that crucible and superheats the top of the crucible it actually starts melting from the top down so all of this gray stuff is I'd made some changes to my burner and was melting aluminum the other day and that gray is aluminum that was getting whipped out of the crucible by the burner blower the slag and dross that was in the floating in the crucible because I had the blower wide open so. this is I've changed a few things I've got it now to where I can go over and turn the oil on and then come over here on the burner I don't know if you can see it in the shade yeah. a little needle valve right there in the oil line I open the oil up there there's the changes I've made I get a pretty good sized fireball coming off this thing if I open it up with oil going wide open before I can get the air on it my air pump Hit a, you're going to get to hear it running in the video. I've broke a, it's got a fan in each end of it. And I've broke almost all the blades off the white one. One of the blades off the black one. And I think they're rights and lefts. Anyway, I've had to order two more of them from uh, Outfit and Amarillo. It's a little expansion tank. Keeps water from stop some water from in the airline getting to the burner and the business end of everything is sitting over here along with my propane bottle now I'll move that propane bottle quick as I get this thing lit so that it's not in my way but I'll leave it on I just like the idea of the propane uh, it gives me a little extra heat if something happens right at the end I don't have to scramble I can just go crank the propane up and you know put more pressure on it and keep right on doing what I'm doing if I run out of oil or oil line plugs up or something so looking at that furnace it's getting to the point that I'm gonna have to re-level it up so Well, I light my burners, I take a little piece of ceramic wool and put some kerosene, diesel, motor oil, whatever on it. And uh, use it as a wick. Just back over here out of the way. Use it as a wick igniter. Get my 
painted that in there. Drop one of my little boards that crucible sets on. Keeps it from sticking to the plant. You may be able to hear it light, it'll whoop. I screwed it.
Dig that one out. That's all right. I'll turn it around. Hot. Not just casting this weather's hot. It's gonna be another one of them almost hundred degree days. There it is. That's the shake out. Hit a three cast iron ingot molds.